Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is PinyQ. Hope you are having a beautiful day. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can set up the RPCS3 on your PC so that you can play your favorite PS3 games. If you have a PS3 and maybe something went wrong and you just need to play a game of on the PS3, this is one way you can do it on your PC. Also, you can scale the resolution up to even 4K and get better performance. 60 frames are more depending on your GPU. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this. And now first up, you wanna go to your Google and you want to go ahead and type rpcs3.net and it should bring you straight over to the official website now once you're on the website you can go ahead and go to compatibility just to be sure that the game that you're looking to play is on their list and it is compatible to run on the emulator so all the games that are in green that means you can go ahead and play the full game and complete everything for the ones in yellow or orange or maybe you will have a few glitch and such on um have serious glitch and insufficient performance for the ones in red that mean you will get black scream or it might not start up at all or for the ones in black that means it's not gonna be able to play it will always crash the emulator as you guys can see um or crashing emulator so you can pretty much read this and get full understanding with this so as you guys can see there's a lot of games on this website right here i mean there's a lot of game available for you guys to play you can skip through the page or you can just type in the search bar that's what i'm won't do because i need to know if gta will work since i want to use a small game for demonstration so as you guys can see i just type gta and we have gta right here these games gta iv gta 4 gta 5 they are all in halo so that mean they might play and they might give you like some glitches and stuff but maybe you can play it but for gta san andreas which i was about to play um i was looking forward to play um it is playable so as you can see it's in green and it's a playable so you can go ahead and get the games um maybe i'll put a link in the description where you guys can go ahead and download free games for ps3 so now let's continue since i know my game is compatible and it will run so let's go ahead and go back up here and go to download so just click on download up here and if you're using window or linux you can choose whichever for me i am on window so i'm gonna click on that and it should start downloading now one more thing that you guys will need you will need to go over to the ps3 system software and you want to get the latest update so it's for currently 4.87 at this recording time so let's go ahead and click download and your file should start downloading but me i have downloaded mine already so now once you have all the files downloading you got the emulator download and you got the psg update downloaded you just want to go ahead and right click on your desktop just right click go to new create a new folder and just call it whatever you want for me i have already created mine and i call it ps3 it doesn't matter what you call it so in here i got my emulator the rpcs3 right here it's not extracted as yet and i got the ps3 update and i also have gta san andreas folder the game itself so from here you will need winrar or 7zip whichever you prefer i have win win raw also got 7 zip 2 but just extract the file just like this i'm going to extract it into a folder now once the file is it's extracted this is the rpcs i just extracted now let's go ahead and go in and once you are in you can go ahead and pretty much run your rpcs3 right here so double click and once you double click you will be prompted with this message and you just click on this box two box here and click continue and once you press continue you can allow this or you can block whichever i choose to allow because i know it's not going to um on my system let's not update it right now an update is available but i'm not gonna do it right now because i don't want to stop what i'm doing so now from here once it is open up just like this you want to go ahead and we want to install our firmware so let's go ahead and go to file let me see if i can enlarge in this all right so let's go ahead and go over to file and you want to go to install firmware and once you're in install firmware just go ahead and locate 
the file that you have your PS3 update PUP file in and just click on that and then click open and then it should start installing your firmware 4.87 as you guys can see successful install PS3 firmware just click OK on that now it will say compiling PPU so now while this is compiling let's go ahead and go over to where you see PEDS and if you click on PEDS right here so now this is the old controller where you set up your controller like if you have a PS3 controller a Xbox or PS4 whichever constro controller you have and you want to use and here's where you select it so go ahead and go to handle right here handles and it will set default to keyboard just click on this drop down and you should see DualShock 3, DualShock 3 for PS3 and DualShock 4 for PS4, DualSense for on PS5 and X input for Xbox controllers. So go ahead and choose whichever. For me, I'm gonna just leave it on the keyboard default and just click save once you selected your controller. And make sure that you connect your controller to your PC before you do any of that. Okay, so once the compiling is finished, you just want to go ahead and go to config and we can go ahead to GPU and from here you will see default resolution set at 1280x720 you don't want to mess around this you don't want to mess around this you want to keep it at default just like that and if you want to upper your resolution let's say you have a 4k monitor you can go ahead and upper the resolution don't mess around this down here is where you upper your resolution to 4k or whichever you prefer but for me i got a 1080p so i'll be setting it to 1080p since that's the farthest my monitor can go and for this you don't want to mess around anything just leave it just like this the ratio if you have monitor with um 16 by 9 or if it's 4 by 3 you can choose whichever for me i just leave it at 16 by 9 that's my monitor ratio so so from here you're good you can just click apply and then save and now from here we need to go ahead and add our game so that's the last step to add the game and run the game so let's go ahead to file over here and here you should see hard games let's click on hard games right there and now you want to select the folder that you save your game on whether it is on your hard drive or SD card or whichever wherever you save your file just go ahead and locate it for me I got it in the same PSG folder so this is GTS and you just want to click on the folder make sure that you're on the folder of the game so this is the folder the main folder and here you got the games files and the updates so you want to get back to the folder here and you want to click um, select folder now you should see your game right here so once the game is right here and as you can see compatibility over here it's a playable so let's go ahead and double click on the game and it should hopefully start up So as you guys can see the game is now loading up so let's just click enter and click start new game let's go ahead and start this up Nineteen ninety-two. <laughs> this is a legendary game all right so let's just click this off and as you guys can see the game is fully functioning and it's running pretty smooth too I'm getting about 30 FPS on um, 29 FPS now so I'm not using a I'm just on a budget GPU so that's why so as you guys can see the game is pretty much functioning and I don't know what key to use to enter car or exit but I don't know the game is working I don't know what to do right now I can't even get in a car let me see if I can get in Oh, I use V to get in car. What do I use to drive? Huh? Oh, I, dr oh, I can't drive. I can't drive. Oh my God! Thank you for helping me. Just run away. How do I run? So yeah, if the video was helpful, please like and subscribe. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.